Hi guys, Sam from Warpgate Studios. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to grim dark up a clean paint job on a Space Marine using AK Interactive Streaking Grime, which is a fantastic product um, that's pretty new. It's been around for a while, but, uh, but uh, Warhammer modelers have been uh, starting to use it more and more um, these days. So um, yeah, it's pretty simple to use. Finish up your model completely painted. You'll see this is completely painted from, from weathering. I've airbrushed a little bit on the floor, on uh, the uh, legs here, um, and a very, very clean um, paint job all around on a nice bright teal style Space Marine. Um, so we're gonna, without further ado, gonna uh, get some of this on here. This is oil-based enamel. Um, so instead of actually using normal water, you'll need to grab some odorless thinner um, to use with it. And you'll probably want a ton of these, some uh, cotton buds um, from uh, your wife's uh, bathroom um, area and grab a load of them to use. Um, super simple to, to uh, get going with these. But um, yeah, let's, let's uh, pour some, some thinner out. Um, and let's get going on it. So, um, yeah, you don't need a lot, uh, just a, a little cup of, uh, of thinner. And what I'm gonna do to initially with this model is grab a nice big brush out of my brushes. And we're gonna grab a super, super big brush, this one here, just a cheap, crappy brush from Hobby Lobby. You don't really want to be mixing oils and waters, oils, waters with some of the brushes. So grab a, just an old crappy brush. I'm going to give this a nice shake. This this does settle this uh, AK Interactive. So you need to give it a, a good shake to start with. Um, and then we're going to just put some of this onto a palette. Um, or you can work straight out of the pot. I'm going to water it a little bit down into the top of the pot with some thinner. Um, so you can actually kind of see, it's just, it's like a real muddy texture that you're going for here. Um, and then believe it or not, you just start painting it over the model, um, and giving it a good wash over all of the model, um, to grim dock it down. So I just paint this over. You'll start seeing there's like a, you know, a, a tint on it. I may have gone a little bit too light on the uh on the watering down so we're going to grab a bit more go a bit heavy on this um the good thing about oils and working with these these types of paints is the fact that the work time on here is tremendous you can work and work and work on these things for half an hour after you've actually put the paint on um, which is a lot different from acrylic models because in normal acrylic models you have a matter of a few minutes before it dries this is a lot lot longer drying time on it and when uh, you have longer drying time you get to play around with it a little bit longer as well so uh, so you can kind of see super super muddy now super super muddy um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this for about 15 minutes um, to start drying on the model. And then we're gonna come back and start working on um, getting this taken off. So that's that's it. it is at the moment with pretty much everything covered. There's a little bit of settling which you can start moving around on. Um, but there you have it with the, the acrylic, uh, sorry, the enamel oil-based wash on there. Um, I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes um, and then we're going to come back and start working on it. Okay, so here is the model. After a good 10-15 minutes, you can see it's kind of starting to, to sink in a little bit. Pretty good, nice, heavy weather in there on the model. If you're going for super, super grim dark, you probably leave it as that. Um, I'm not, so I'm gonna kind of show you how to work with this. Um, this is the uh, thinner that I use just to, to wash out the brush. It's got a little bit of the pigment still left in it, but it's still good. And you can just start working with this and rubbing it onto areas of the model. 
can kind of see there um, and just leaving it in some of the rougher areas of the model and you can start taking it off of areas that you don't want it to be on so but for example I'm going to leave a little bit on that pad and I'm going to take some off of here and you'll see it actually even though you've you've had it on for 10-15 minutes you can still work with it quite nicely you don't want to overload your um, uh, the cotton buds with uh, thinner because then you'll just soak the model um, you just want enough on there just to, to give it a little um, rub and uh, and just start cleaning up parts of it um, and then um, this is not going to damage your model by having this on here either um, it's uh, they, they formulated the AK Interact is pretty good um, and you'll notice you'll go through these as well so I've taken off some stuff there I'm just going to dump that one on the side and pick up a new one um, and just start working with this and just rubbing a little bit off just enough. I'm leaving some of it on there because I obviously want some weathering on that leg. Um, but I'm just going to take some of it off. And this is pretty good because, again, you'll see that it actually falls still in there. And it just gives that hint of a little bit of weathering. And you can control it with these. Um, you can control it quite nicely, the amount that you leave on there. And you can kind of leave it in the, the rougher areas of it. Um, and uh, and just really go to town by cleaning the model up and, and just taking off bits that you don't want. Where the grime would, and you, you obviously leave it where the grime would be still left in there. But again, the good thing about it is you can take some off while it's like this and you can always apply another level of of washing over the top of it if you really need to see i'm just going to leave it like kind of like that on that shoulder it's pretty rocking um and you'll notice it does dull down and it will whiten up uh decal so this decal to start with was white it's a little bit more uh weathered now and you can again you can go over it and keep rubbing it and take off a little bit more and bring it up a little bit more clear and then just leave it in the the edges and and kind of really go to town on, on as much of this model as you really want and uh leave as much on here as you want as well so and as i said it's it's better to take too much off and then just reapply a little bit more than leave it on and then realize oh dear i left too much of this on so um yeah it's uh Pretty good. I like working with this on display level uh, models, and it's it's easy enough that you can use it on a whole army if you really need to, um, because again, it doesn't take too long to, to weather it up. Um, but that's pretty much like I I would be happy with the level of weathering on this. There's a little bit uh, on the shoulder pads that maybe need to be tidied up a little bit more. But again, um, this is just a dirty up. Uh, the Space Marine just a little, little bit just to give you an idea of a little bit more weathering in there you can kind of see areas like here around the back there uh, the backpack here and stuff like that it works really really well and uh, yeah it just dirties up models that shouldn't be pristinely clean um, and it's just a nice little method to do that um, and I hope that's that's really it you do the, the the only other thing to consider with these models once you've done this you do need to give this a good few hours now to dry um with all of the uh the weathering pigments in there as well um so yeah if uh it, uh, as long as this is super dry you can give this a nice coat of uh, lacquer over the top and oh, i just noticed another bit i'm going to clean up a little bit more there you go um you'll you'll notice that as well there's there's bits on these models that you you kind of like oh okay that's kind of cool but yeah i'm super happy with the dirt and the level of uh of weathering on this now and uh i'm going to call this good and this is going to go into the cabinet so uh yeah any questions if there's anything i missed please feel free to comment on the video um and uh, i'll be back with a video shortly on some other stuff that i've got 
ready to go. I uh, hope that's helped and I uh, hope that's going to get a few of you grabbing some of the uh, AK Interactive Streaking Grime and get it on your models to make them look a little bit more grimdark. Thanks, thanks for watching and stay safe. Cheers. Thank you.